Out of all characters that fascinate me in Percy Jackson and the Olympians, Luke Castellan is definitely the most interesting by far. After reading The Last Olympian, I went from absolutely despising him to him becoming one of my top favorite characters from the books. Jake Abel gave a good performance as him in the two movies that we got, but the movies didn't at all do his character justice. If you just go off the films, you'd think Luke to be a sociopathic spoiled brat with daddy issues, and you feel absolutely no sympathy for him at all. Control! They've been in power for too long! Remold the world in our image! But. His backstory is so much more complex than this, and it all starts with his mother, May Castellan. In this video, I'm going to explain what happened to May and why this plays such a crucial role in the five Percy Jackson books. I'm also going to stop here and shamelessly promote my Instagram, where I post a ton of behind the scenes to a lot of my content. I'm trying to make it so that my YouTube and my Instagram go hand in hand, so don't hesitate to give me a follow. Now with that out of the way, let's break down exactly what happened to May Castellan and the curse that haunted her forever. Before we even discuss what happened to May Castellan, we need to discuss why the Oracle of Delphi was cursed for so many years. It actually dates back to Italy in World War II, where Hades, Poseidon, and Zeus's children were fighting one another. Causing this major war to occur, Zeus made the decision that the Big Three should come to an agreement that they wouldn't spawn any more children, because the Oracle prophesied that a child of the Big Three would make the ultimate decision that could potentially lead to Olympus's downfall. Hades' side was Italy, Germany, and Japan, meaning his children were on the side of the fascists, and of course, they were defeated during the war. Since Hades had two demigod children that didn't fight during the war, Zeus ordered Bianca and Nico be brought to Camp Half-Blood, where Chiron could train them. Hades, however, disobeyed his brother, because he feared Nico and Bianca could be turned against him if he sent them to camp, and Zeus retaliated by angrily killing Nico and Bianca's mother, Maria, destroying the hotel that they were staying in in the process. Afterwards, Hades ordered his fury, Electo, to send Bianca and Nico to the Lotus Hotel and Casino, where time passes slower than average. Hades then retaliated against Zeus by cursing the Oracle of Delphi, making it so that anyone who ever attempted to become the next Oracle will be cursed as well. This led to the Oracle eventually becoming a mummified doll, and it forever remained up in the attic of Camp Half-Blood's big house. He said the following, I swear, as long as my children remain outcasts, as long as I labor under the curse of your great prophecy, the Oracle of Delphi will never have another mortal host. You will never rest in peace. No other will take your place. Your body will wither and die, and still the Oracle's spirit will be locked inside you. You will speak your bitter prophecies until you crumble to nothing. The Oracle will die with you. Now, let's jump to decades later, when Hermes met a woman named May Castellan, and what made her so desirable to him wasn't just because May had clear sight, but because she also supposedly had the gift of prophecy which she very well turned out to have. That wasn't the issue. The issue was, after their son was born, May decided she would try to take the spirit of the Oracle of Delphi, something Hermes strongly advised her not to, knowing that if May knew too much, it could potentially damage her. But May, who was too full of pride, went through with it anyway. She was so determined to become the new Oracle no matter what, thinking because she had the gift of prophecy that that meant she was automatically qualified. She was so certain that she could be the next oracle, and that she was something one of a kind. She and Hermes met with Chiron at Camp Half-Blood, where she went up to the attic where the oracle was located. Unfortunately, this led to May forever being cursed with seeing glimpses of the future, a future where her son would be a host for Kronos. 
Her mind was forever shattered, leaving her clinically insane, and she would have delusional outbursts and visions, and each time, she'd try her hardest to convince herself that this wasn't Luke's fate. May's delusional, crazed state eventually became too much for her son, and Luke, traumatized by his mother's insanity, ran away from home. Luke tried desperately to build himself a new family with Thalia and Annabeth, but eventually he met his dad when Hermes was visiting May, checking to see if she was okay. He thought for certain that his dad did not care about him or his mother, because Hermes was never there to protect Luke whenever his mother would have crazed visions of him hosting Kronos. To add salt into the wound, Hermes tried telling Luke that he would find ways to ensure Luke could make him proud, like retrieving an apple from the Garden of Hesperides, something that greatly offended his son because Hercules had already done it. Luke despised the thought of needing to repeat the same missions past heroes had already achieved, and from that moment on, Luke was far gone and beginning to give into the dreams and visions that Kronos would tantalize him with, promising him glory and fame beyond imagination. May, through her stubborn pride of trying to become the next oracle, caused her own son's fate to occur. Had she not attempted to become the oracle of Delphi, maybe, just maybe, her son's fate could have been different. May Castellan's story of how she got cursed would go on to closely mirror other spirits of insanity, who are otherwise known as mania. Mania are spirits that personify insanity and madness, and the two that we've met in the blood of Olympus are Beryl Grace, Jason and Thalia Grace's mother, and Julian Ramirez Arellano, Reina Ramirez Arellano's father. Beryl was a highly selfish woman who was driven into insanity due to Zeus slash Jupiter refusing to make her Queen of Olympus, even though she bore him two children. And Julian suffered through intense PTSD when he came back home from the war in Iraq. May's story tells a very important lesson of how you should never allow your pride to get the best of you, because that could be the very thing that would lead to your demise. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you happen to be brand new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also be sure to hit that like button down below and make sure to comment as well. God bless, happy viewing, and have a nice day.